Nathan Peel. I'm a supermarket worker from, well, hell, really. Not everyone burns in flames with the devil on their back because I'm stuck between this day and the next. Most of the time, anyway. I need a tragic event to change. Like a murder. Two weeks I had of rolling days. No do-overs. No Monday, Monday, Monday. I wouldn't kill anyone, though. I'd have to keep doing it, wouldn't I? It was my fault. I pulled out, and the lorry just grounded me. Well, and she was sat next to me. <gasps> Not natural. It's a metal pushing through. That was five years ago. My childhood sweetheart. As far as Dr. Decker was concerned, we had Monday and moved on to Tuesday. But me, I had Monday five, ten, fifty times before I got to Tuesday. Strange deja vu. I'm exhausted. Doctor, is our time up? This is Jaya. Hear what Ben had to say. Quick catch up. Let's talk to her assistant. Now she's going to know Dr. Decker the best. She's worked with him for years. She knows about him, about patients, about the relationship. She's going to be the most important person or the most suspicious. Because let's be honest, she could have did it too. She has a suspicion. Decker. I wouldn't say we were best friends. We did spend a lot of time together. There's only two of us that work here. I'm sure we'll become friends too, Doctor. Just try not to get murdered. Why is she suspicious too? There's only two people that work at the entire practice. Could there be a motive there? Dr Decker owned the place. He was the head psychiatrist. Did she want to climb up the ladder? Glass ceiling being a male and all? There's a motive there, so, you know. Any one of them could be, but I still think the way that Nathan was and how he was acting, but I do think it could be multiple. Let's go. But what if he was just that smart? What if he did it to himself and he made it look like someone else did it? I don't know, maybe he was like some sort of cult leader? What if he turned the place into a cult? There could be so many answers. Right, let's go. My mind is pure overthinking right now. Right, tell me about Ben. I'm sure Ben will be coming in for a while. He's still pretty shook up about finding the body. I'm surprised it doesn't happen more often in the line of work he's in. Anyway, he said he found the body at exactly 20 minutes past 10. 10.20? The first thing he did was look at his watch. That's what he'd say before he'd shut down. At least he didn't talk to I think there may be some sort of link between these patients, like one sees another that's friends with another in real life and some so there's some connection and what is that? I don't know. Bryce and Nathan have some sort of loop, replaying of days, that is like the same kind of thing. So let me think, Elin is a nurse dealing with palate of patients. Claire's man got stabbed by her. Maybe the nurse deals with him or I don't know. Someone could be linked. She said she was devastated or something, but she seems fine. She seems a bit bored and like nonchalant and a bit like, eh, I don't really care. Like, but what we do know is that Ben found him. Ben found Dr. Decker. Ben found Dr. Decker's body on Valentine's night in his office. In your office. I'm so... Ah! Who did it? I'm so... Ah! Who did it? Oh, I'm so invested, I was going to say. Oh, Queen Lazy. I was concentrating so hard. I was concentrating so hard. Ah, oh, fuck my life. Who just called me a cow? Queen Lazy, tell your mister. <laughs> She's suspicious too. Um, tell me about Valentine's Night. Of course it happened on Valentine's Night. This has got to be a female. Yes, you know, the 14th of February, the day of love. Or 
remembering a massacre. Whichever's more you. I mean, I wouldn't exactly say the death of one person was a massacre. A massacre, I would say, would be like four, five, thirteen, twenty, whatever. Massacre, right? Oh, mass. It's in the name. Mass. A lot. Big. <laughs> anyway, I wouldn't say it was a massacre. I feel like she's... Is she over-exaggerating because she did it? She wants to feel like, oh, I did a massacre. Right? Right? Fuck, man, everybody's suspicious. Shit. The police wanted to know what I was doing. Massacre is multiple, right? That's what I thought. Or a second lover. Of course it does. Writing you in my notepad, Jaya. I'm going to need to think about this. I'm going to come back and play this game tomorrow night. We're going to find out who killed Dr. Decker if it's the last thing I do. What if I'm in danger? Right, anyway. I think the police want you to make a short list of suspects or maybe even find the killer. You're seeing all the patients that were on the books when he was killed. There was no forced entry, so they think it might be someone he knew or someone who had access to the office. Like little old me. Or Ben. Do you think I'm a suspect, Doctor? Yes. Can we say yes, chat? Do you in agreement? Everyone's a suspect until further notice. It's how it rolls, okay? It's how it rolls. Queen Lazy, let's go. At half past five UK time. Don't play it without me, please. I'll be reading out soon. I'm going to stop soon. We're going to end this day. So that we're going to do a day per stream, right? So this is like day one. And tomorrow I'll be back, I think... Three o'clock, I think, ish, give or take, half an hour. But I'll be back in the afternoon and we're going to play it again! What the fuck? Hi Black Lotus. Hi Black Lotus. We're invested now, right? I'm so invested, I need to find out who did it. Right. Yes, you're a suspect. Uh, well, I wasn't expecting that. I suppose everyone's a suspect at the moment, even you. They Not me! You'd sort me out. I know you didn't agree, but I thought I'd let you know. I'm suspicious of Ben. We've not even interviewed him yet. Who is he? Sorry, didn't you know? Ben's one of the night shift cleaners. I'm sure he's got some tales he could tell. Bet he does. We need to interview Ben. Lazy says, the way she goes, you sort me out. Let's look at it back. Oh, well, I wasn't expecting that. I suppose everyone's a suspect at the moment, even you. They did mention I needed grief counselling though, and I said, you'd sort me out. I know you didn't agree, but I thought I'd let you know. That's very kind of you. That's even worse when you look at it again. King Lazy, you're onto something, mate. Why is he just assuming? I'm busy. I'm trying to look into the murder. Is she trying to see what I know? You know how the murderer is trying to be close to the scene? Find out what everyone knows and stuff? Maybe. But that bit at the end. Let's look at this again. Oh, well, I wasn't expecting that. I suppose everyone's a suspect at the moment, even you. They did mention I needed grief counselling, though. And I said, you'd sort me out. What's the pinger pointing? No, you didn't agree, but... Kind of Controlling, demanding, aggre aggressive. Finger pointing is aggressive. It doesn't matter if you have a soft voice or not. I could be the softest spoken person ever, but I've been aggressive right now. <laughs> you know, I read people all the time, and these got me par at all of them. That's what I'm saying. Obviously, it's meant to do that a lot, because, you know, it's funny the game. But I think it's more that we ask questions and delve into this, we're going to find someone that's like definitely not. It's definitely not them. I think this is going to be a process of elimination type of thing. I think. I think. Yo, how's it going? How's everyone doing? How was he killed? That's important. I don't know exactly, but the stabbing of some kind. We'll be getting the autopsy through at some point. I'll, I'll let you know. 
There's only one patient that stabbed another, and that was Claire, the dominatrix that stabbed her husband with a steak knife. And she was confused why he isn't talking to her anymore. So she doesn't really have a great grip on reality. Claire was involved in a stabbing, but I think that would be too... obvious, right? It would be too obvious for us to be like, alright, that's a killer. Yeah, we're right. Bye, day one. Done. So I feel like we could maybe take Claire off it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Did he have any enemies? That's an important question. But if we're suspicious of her, is she going to tell us the truth? I wasn't really in his social circle, so I don't know if he had any friends. In terms of enemies, I heard things get heated in his office sometimes, but I won't name any names. Why? Why? You... Why? She knows that I'm investigating a murder. Why is she like that? Is she scared? Why is she looking about? She, is she scared? Intimidated? That's interesting. Because she was one. Let's go. Maybe she was. Maybe she's one of the ones that had, pardon me, had arguments with Dr. Decker. About the job that she wanted. There's only two people in the office. Hmm. Susan. Susan. Annabelle. Annabelle. Alyssa. Alyssa. But they're not names of anyone I know. Susan. Annabelle. Alyssa. Got you. Hopefully we get to meet these people. Was there any clues left at the crime scene? I didn't see it myself. So I don't King Lazy says she knows a lot more. Mess with all the blood I think so. Everything. You know they have people who clean up after such things though, so you really can't tell, can you? Don't worry, that's a new chair. That is so awkward. So basically, the person that I took over the job was killed in the same office that I now work in. In this chair. Not the chair, it was replaced, it's fine. <laughs> God damn it, look at her eyes. So wide. It's like she's trying to take more of you in. Like people who do that, like really open their eyes, is like they're trying to really read you, read the room, smell your emotion. They're trying to increase all their senses. When she does that, does her nose open? Let's have a look. I didn't see it. it does. Look. And everything. You know they have people who clean up after such things, though. So you really can't tell, can you? Don't worry. That's a new chair. Why? 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 So many questions. He was stabbed, so that's quite a personal thing to do. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if it was one of the patients who had a problem with the treatment they were getting. Bryce? Bryce doesn't like him. But maybe she's trying to assign blame. Also, what I was going to say, right? <coughs> Claire was the one, the patient, that stabbed her husband. Just like Jaya said, a personal thing, right? Obviously her husband didn't die, but what I think that means in the story, not that Claire did it, but that Dr. Decker was stabbed by someone he was in a relationship with, was flirting with, or one of the boys that are linked to one of the girls, protective, you know. It's interesting, it's interesting. I'm just surmising. If you're unhappy enough to kill your therapist, they're probably not doing a very good job. <laughs> oh god. She's quite funny, I'll give her that. Why is she also not wearing shoes? Wait a minute, is this a no shoe zone? Someone's not told me the right protocol? Why is no one wearing shoes? She isn't wearing shoes and the werewolf bitch, she wasn't wearing shoes either. Why? All I know is the police took his chair for forensics. Okay. okay. That's not uh, concerning. Right, so we've asked everyone every question that we can possibly ask. What are your guys' thoughts? Everyone is suspicious. Is there anyone more suspicious than another for you? For me, I don't believe Claire did it. I really feel like she's at the bottom of my list of suspicious people because it's too obvious. It'd be too it'd be too easy. 
Maybe clearing someone else. Maybe I could see that. I'm, I'm quite, I'm more suspicious of the possible werewolf Mariana because she's quite flirty and she said she met Dr. Decker out with the, the practice so that's suspicious but she doesn't seem like linked with reality Elin, the one that's like the nurse of death type person she's very in touch with reality in fact she's a little bit scary and then you've got Nathan and Bryce which kind of suffer from the same sort of issues. One person has an extra hour, one replays the day over and over and over again. So are they two linked because of that? That's so interesting. But we're going to play it again tomorrow. I'm not going to play it if Queen Lazy isn't there. Ever. I promise you. Oh, King Lazy thinks it's Nathan. I'm throwing all my eggs at him. Right, I'm writing it down. King Lazy, Nathan. Queen Lazy says, okay, so she knows something, but not saying. And Nathan is part of it. So Queen Lazy is suspicious of Nathan and the assistant Jaya. I'm having a loop day. <gasps> Nathan's back. He's having a loop day. What does that mean? What do you mean loop? It's a do-over day. You won't remember. What's the name of your assistant again? Pizza. Jaya. My assistant's name is Jaya. Was it Warcraft or high school? She's a high school sweet sweetheart. They met together on Warcraft. I'm going to say Warcraft. I feel like this is a test. Ah! No, we played that game together. Mr. Red! I got it wrong. Well done, Doctor. It was skill. We met at secondary. King Lazy, you got it right. Well done. If you fail to get a question mark. Okay, I see what's happening. We're going to have to replay this until we get it right. Let's go. No, it wouldn't be funny. I agree. Where are you going? Come back. I didn't say the session was over yet. It looks like he's coming back. I am right behind you. What happened? Who's there? Don't be scared. There are no questions. Okay, okay. Continue. Let's go. Oh, we're back to the start. We should know answers. Man's like, I agree and ducks out. I know, he's like, bye, see ya. Fight, flight, freeze or fawn. He, he just fucking ran, didn't he? What do you mean by look? Hello? Oh, I popped my hip. Mr. Red. Jaya. Jaya is the assistant. I suppose you did remember that yesterday. Can you remember where I met Hannah? How does he know we remembered that yesterday? High school. King Lazy said. I'm not sure that's the answer I'm looking for. School. Yeah, at secondary school. Is th that's the same it's thing. Fun, but I've got a pill. He's got a pill. What pill, guys? Oh no! If I took it, I'd never have another loop day. It's got a small skull and crossbones. Should I take the tablet, Doctor? Queen Lazy, quick! Should he take the tablet? King Lazy thinks it's ecstasy. It's not with a skull on it. The music's changed. Can you hear that? He's on drugs. I know them. Queen Lazy says yes, okay. I'll tell him to take it. I'm not sure that's the answer I'm looking for. Ah, put the hashtag in, I'm sorry. Without the hashtag. I'm not sure that's the answer I'm looking for. Use the pull down menu. Uh, yes, take the tablet. Okay. What have we done? Oh, he takes it! Oh, shit. Well, we'll find out what the tablet is then, won't we? Hello? Did he pass out? What happened? You're going to have to find out tomorrow. What a freaking end to the stream! What's the tablet going to do? Why did Dr. Decker give him it? 
Is Jaya as suspicious as we think? Is Nathan dead? You're going to have to join me tomorrow. We're going to raid out. Let's go. Oh, wow, this is well good. I had so much fun today. King Lazy, Queen Lazy, and everyone who contributed to the theorising session. Much appreciated. I really enjoyed that. Oh my god, it's like the TV. I just had a cliffhanger. I want to press continue, but I can't. I'm going to leave it till tomorrow. <laughs> it was fun. Thank you. I appreciate you. I really enjoyed that.